I managed to get home a little bit early today, which is awesome. And I should have been productive with my time. I wasn't. And I need to go into my craft room. Ooh. Ah! Oh, geez. That just almost killed Rudy. I'm sorry, Rudy! Uh, the ornament, or not the ornament, the uh, stocking hanger just fell on Rudy. Uh, he seems unbothered by it. What's worse is my yarn that I had in order up here fell. So, um, yeah. Anyway, it's not what this was supposed to be about. This was supposed to be about um, the fact that I've been procrastinating and I haven't gone into my yarn room. I don't think those are in, are in order. Anyway, uh, I'm standing in front of the fireplace because I'm freezing. And I need to go back in the craft room. So I think... I should probably put at least one strip on that quilt, but I might not. I really might just enjoy my day. I need to clean up. We're having my in-laws and my mom over for dinner tomorrow. And I really just kind of want to relax. I might do a Christmas Eve cast on after all. Um, for those of you who didn't see my Instagram story, I kind of went on a little rant about the pattern I mentioned. I've since deleted it. I still don't feel like it's a good pattern. I was really disappointed by it. But I also just realized I did not want to be bitchy or bitching uh, near Christmas. So anyhow, I would not waste your money. That's my personal opinion and no one else's. I did contact the designer. She offered to give me my money back. Um, I didn't really go into it. I mean, I did, I kind of wrote her a long message, but um, anyhow. I just feel like it's the principle of the matter that uh, it's not a unique pattern. There are versions of that pattern for free already on Ravelry. And I think it's kind of shady to ask for $5 for a pattern that is nothing new. And I totally get it. Someone pointed out to me that if you have tutorials and something really unique about your design, a special heel, a special toe, you know, really in depth. I totally get that. That was not what this was. I have bought, I don't even know, hundreds of patterns in my library. Um, I don't think I've ever been that disappointed as I am with this. Anyhow, I'm done ranting. I did not mean to go on that rant right now, but it's just, it doesn't seem right. Anyhow, I'm going to wrap some presents in my freezing cold craft room. <laughs> uh, I'm still procrastinating on wrapping presents because uh, I thought a glass of tea would be nice and I haven't opened my tea oven in like three days. So I'm gonna open all three right now and see which one sounds the best. Day 22 is Satsuma Spice Cake and it is Sweet Caramelized Citrus Black Tea. That could be good. I need some motivation. Day 23 is Valerian Nights. And that sounds like a sleepy kind of tea because I know Valerian Root makes you sleepy. This one says Calming Caramel and Coconut Herbal, or herbal, herbal Infusion. And Day 24 in the Fancy Gold Box. is Santa's Secret. Ah, there we go. And that is a festive peppermint treat in black tea. So I think, I think I'll go with this one, the Satsuma. Um, I actually have only ever bought from David's Tea once before, and it was kind of along the lines of an advent calendar, but it wasn't um, a full-fledged one. It just had little samples. And, uh, I actually ended up buying an entire bag of Santa Secret because Candace from Pin, Pin I can't talk. Candace from Pin Feathers and Pearls loves that one, and so I gave it a try. Uh, I don't hate it; it's not my favorite, but I just prefer more of, uh, of a spicy tea, like cinnamon kind of thing. So I have plenty of that one. That was the whole point I was getting to. I'm not trying that one today. This needs to motivate me. motivate me like no other. I can't talk. Come on, Fiona. Sit, Cody. 
Sit. Cody, come. Sit. No, come here. You need to get him to sit. Cody, sit. Face that way. Sit. There, we go. there it is. Now get your butt in there, babe. Oh, Cody. Cody, sit. Why are you the worst? Sit. Hello and Merry Christmas, friends. Uh, Glenn and I just got done opening our presents and my hair's a mess. <laughs> um, uh, it was a good Christmas here. We definitely both like our gifts a lot, I think. Um, I keep trying to tell him to not spend so much and he still spends a lot. So, uh, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, I do appreciate him and I guess... You know, have you ever done the, the seven love language thing? His is definitely gift giving. And, or like, that's what he, that's his way of showing love. And, uh, it's, it's not my way, but, uh, anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, I wanted to show you guys, I did give in to the Christmas Eve cast on. I picked my King Cole zigzag in the Christmas color and I have a cuff um, I was really struggling with what uh, pattern to pick and once I picked the yarn it made the pattern choice really easy. I'm going to do the heel toe do -si do which if you don't know it's a pattern by Kay Lit Litton, the um, crazy sock lady and it's great for self striping so I'm really excited about that. I've already made Glenna pair in that pattern and <clears throat> once you get going super memorizable. It's awesome. Um, before I open my advents today, I wanted to show you, um, Glenn always, always gets me some kind of yarny gift, even if I don't need yarn. <clears throat> and with the help of uh, our friend and shop owner of Candy Skein, uh, she helped him pick out something I've been eyeing for quite some time. And that's this yarn here. And it's uh, Western Sky Knits, which is hand dyed in Montana. And the color is just peachy. And this is a lace weight yarn and I just loved the color like had she had this in fingering oh my gosh I would have bought it a long time ago I've been looking literally for months at this color but because it was lace I was just like torn I was like oh what do I do with it I still don't know what I'm gonna do with it but now that it is mine uh, I'm gonna figure it out so I have 16 1700 yards of lace weight my original thought was to find like a mohair to pair this with um, or something to pair it with. So I don't know. I've never, I don't think I've ever knit a completely lace project. I don't think. I could be wrong. Anyway, I love this. It's going to be something amazing. It's so pretty. It's not Christmassy at all, but that's fine. I also don't think it's my color. Still don't care. Love it. <laughs> Okay, 
Now we have our advents and I'm going to make myself wait. I came so close to opening this yesterday because I thought I could use it for my Christmas Eve cast on and I might kick myself here in a minute for starting the other one. Doesn't mean that I won't start this one too, so we'll see. But that being said, I'm going to open Sock Yarn Swappers first. And our very last color of Sock Yarn Swappers is by Bridgefield Fiberworks, and it's called Icicles. And it is a gorgeous multi blue and white. Very pretty. All right, guys. The grand finale of my Stress Knits Advent calendar. I'm so excited. Stacy posted a, not a spoiler, a teaser of her black and white, you know, black and white photo of her sock that's finished in this. I was tempted to go look up and see if anyone had posted spoilers, but I didn't. I'm so excited to see this. Oh my goodness. There it is. So pretty. Um, I'm trying to describe it. So it's like, uh, it's very similar actually to this. It's got that same peachy, peachy pink with green and some yellow and brown, blue and pink speckles. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that spot right there. Uh, this is called Last Christmas. This is going to be a gorgeous pair of Christmas socks. I can't wait to cast these on. These are going to go in my Christmas box of socks yarn for sure. And hopefully get, a, get knit up sooner than later. I was just thinking this morning um, how I picked this color. And for me, it is way easier to pick a commercial yarn and not have guilt about using it, which is so weird because when I pick a nice yarn and I'm using it, I'm like, I'm so happy I'm using it. But there's some part of me that just wants to keep my really special skeins as a skein. And like, what point is that? You don't use it for anything in this. Anyway, that's a battle I have to get over. Uh, so on that note, I hope you guys are all having a very Merry Christmas. I hope that you are spending time with your family and people that you love. And yeah, I don't think, I think I'm just going to edit this now. I don't think I'm going to include um, like pictures of our family dinner or anything tonight. Um, uh, some of the gifts that I got Glenn are these, um, if you guys know what an escape room is, it has these different puzzles and stuff that you have to do um, in order to escape this room. And there's always some kind of like danger if, like um, depending on the scenario, um, your ship's gonna sink if you don't get out in time or the bur building's gonna burn down or the zombies are gonna get you, something like that. So I got him three different um, escape room in a box games. I have no idea what that's gonna be like, um, but I don't know, hopefully they're fun. So we might go do that. Um, I definitely need some more coffee. <laughs> and we got to clean the house before we have guests come. So anyway, thank you so much for watching uh, my whole Vlogmas series this year. I really appreciate each and every one of you, um, especially to those of you who left me comments throughout Vlogmas. It's been really special and wonderful. And um, although my Vlogmas isn't like super holiday theme like some people's, um, it's just kind of my everyday life, which is not fascinating. <laughs> um, so I do appreciate those of you who watched and uh, I'm gonna have a podcast out soon. I'll talk to you later.